best teams in the NFL. We got the week 13 power rankings. And brother, let me tell you this. I think there's a clear like four teams that are Super Bowl contenders. And then there's everybody else. You got your terrible teams. You got your potential frauds. You got teams that are just vibing, bro. Like, are they good? Are they bad? We really don't know. But it's getting a little too late for them to stay in the vibing thing. They need to figure it out and figure out if they're going to make the playoffs or not. But let's just start with the Cardinals. I'm going to throw them in potential frauds, bro. Strictly because I start gassing them every time they win. And then they lose to a Seattle team that I was hating on the other day. Um, I literally think I'm going to put the entire NFC West in potential frauds, bro. Because, like, they're all 500, a little bit under 500, but just can't do anything, bro. Like, the entire division is just trolling. Like, I don't know who's going to win this division, bro. Um, it's probably going to come down to the last week of the season, and I'm assuming that it'll be two uh, divisional matchups between the teams. So I think it's going to be the last part of the season. Um and yeah, we'll see what happens. Another division that we don't know about is the NFC South because we got the Falcons, who I'm going to put in playoff teams strictly because I think they're going to win their division. But don't sleep on the Bucks. I think the Bucks are just vibing right now. They just got Mike Evans back. Um, they have a chance to come back against the Falcons. They need a lot to go their way because they lost both games to the Falcons. But it is very possible for them to come back um, and win that division because the Falcons could Falcon slash Charger and end up losing, um, you know, the division. Um, but I said there's like four teams. I think there's five teams that are Super Bowl contenders. We got the Baltimore Ravens as our first ones. Got a big win on the road against the Los Angeles Chargers, who has the best defense statistically in the NFL. Um, it was a good game, bro. It was a pretty good game. I'm gonna put the Super Bowl contenders in exact order of what I think. They are because we got the Bills ahead of the Baltimore Ravens. Um, the Bills, I forget who they play this upcoming week, but they do have a good matchup coming up. So we will see um, what's going to be happening with the Bills next week. Not sure what to expect, but we'll see, bro. Like the Bills look good. Um, if they get healthy, Amari Cooper comes back. Keon Coleman comes back. Shakir's playing well. I think Kincaid was out too. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, the Panthers team playing spoiler, like their season's over, but like, you know, we've seen some good things from Bryce Young where it's like, okay, maybe he is the quarterback that belongs there. If they can just build around him a little bit better, uh, he could, you know, make something happen, make something shake. Um, the bears, welcome to the bottom of the list, man. Welcome to the bottom of the list. It's five straight losses. You guys look like dookie. Um, I thought you guys were going to win last week against the Vikings. Like, that was the last opportunity to give me hope as someone that thinks the Bears can be even a good football team in the NFL. But they're not. The Bengals, vibing. Big game against the Steelers this week. At home. It's a must-win game to go to 5-7 and seven maybe. Um, yeah, it's looking rough for them. they got to win six in a row. But the Bengals have the firepower on offense to win games. They just got to get some stops on defense. And that Steelers, you know, they're looking like potential frauds too, the Steelers team. And that's exactly where I'm going to put them. Lost to the Browns, bro. Was it snowing? Yes, but they had a whole first half, no snow, and they wasn't showing me anything that made it seem like they're better than the Cleveland Browns. And yes, the Browns playing spoiler. Jameis is fun to watch. He's entertaining. He's a football guy. You got to love watching some Jameis Winston football. It's entertaining. Um, but yeah, the Steelers... The Browns, um, I think those teams are a little goofy. The Steelers will end up, you know, winning 10 games. They should make the playoffs, but that was a bad loss against the Browns. Definitely one they needed, especially since the Ravens just beat the Chargers. But the Ravens do have a tough matchup next week against the Eagles in Baltimore. Um, that's a big game for them. It's a big game for the Eagles as well. Um, Derrick Henry against Saquon. I saw a tweet today that said four uh, elite running backs going up against each other. Lamar, Jalen Hurts, Derrick Henry, Saquon. I thought that was pretty funny, even though I'm an Eagles fan. You know, I could laugh a little, you feel me? Uh, but, yeah, that's true. Cowboys, team playing spoiler. Um, that was an insane game against the Commanders on both sides. So much back and forth happened. We was really just sitting here watching, like, like, what the heck is going on right now? They put up, what, like, 40 points in the fourth quarter combined? Uh, and the 
freaking commander still had a chance to win even after the onside kick was a tub. It was a crazy game, uh, but it was a fun game to watch from two division rivals and two historical teams. Uh, the Denver Broncos is a playoff team, I think. Um, I have faith in the Broncos. Bo Nix, I think he just took the lead for Offensive Rookie of the Year over Jaden Daniels because they've lost three straight games. And Bo Nix has been playing out of his mind. Uh, if he can keep this up, I don't see why they don't make the playoffs. Um, assuming the Bengals don't get hot. Assuming um, the Colts don't win like four in a row. And they should be chilling. Lions, Super Bowl contender number one. They're my number one overall Super Bowl contender. Um, so they're going to be number one in the power rankings this week. Um, but, yeah, I think they're they're looking good. The Green Bay Packers, they got a good win against the beat-up 49ers team. Um, not sure how the 49ers are going to do the rest of the season. You know, the NFC West is who knows right now, bro. Like, I feel like I put $10 on every team in that division to win. And I, it's still not, I'm not going to win any money. But, yeah, um, this team is a playoff team, but they belong here. They belong here, bro. They should be the number one potential fraud in the NFL. Losing to the Titans at home. CJ Stroud is looking pedestrian, bro. Joe Mixon could have run the ball. Like, I said the Titans had a decent defense, and y'all was just chatting. But, like, the regression that I've seen out of CJ Stroud is not good for him, bro. Like, as a fan of football, I, I don't like it. But it is what it is. It's, you know, we're just watching football. We're just living in the football land. And he's not playing well right now. So they're a potential fraudulent team. Colts, they vibing. They vibing. They can also play spoiler because I don't think they make the playoffs. But they could get a win again. I'm not sure who they really play. But they can get a win against a team that needs a win um, and kind of ruin their chances. The Jags already know where they belong. Don't even need to talk too much about the Jags. The Chiefs, they have Patrick Mahomes. Um, but I'm still not sold on them, bro. Yeah, they're 10-1. and But they beat the freaking... They beat the Panthers by three points. Like, Bryce Young played well, but, like, not well enough to be within three points of the back-to-back -back Super Bowl champs. Um, so, yeah. I feel like we're going to say this all year. The Chiefs look pedestrian. Oh, uh, they're 16-1, and one, and then they win the Super Bowl again. It's just going to be more Mahomes propaganda, and I know people are going to get sick of it. But, hey, man, you can't hate, bro. He's, he's, he's looking like one of the best quarterbacks we've ever seen. Uh, Raiders, they stink. For sure, poverty franchise, poverty team, not looking good. The Chargers, tough loss last night, but I still think they're a playoff team. I still think they're a playoff team. They got a big game this week. Who do they play? The Chargers. The Chargers play somebody at the Saints. The Saints at the Saints. They're going to beat them. No, the Rams play the Saints. I don't know. The Chargers play somebody. It's probably a big game. They got to win that because um, they had some tough games coming up. I remember when I saw uh, the Dolphins. They're vibing, bro. I feel like these vibing teams are teams that could make the playoffs, but we're not sure. Like, these are kind of the same categories, but I don't think these teams are frauds. Like, these teams have had injuries this season. Um, oh, the Bengals, not really. But I like this T. Higgins. So, like, these teams could be playoff teams, but they're not as big frauds as, you know, the teams above. Y'all get it, though. Um, call me crazy right here. Call me crazy right here with this freaking take, bro. I know they won. I know the Vikings won. I know they're 9-2. and two. How? I don't know. But I think the Minnesota Vikings belong in this section right here. Potential frauds, bro. Call me crazy if you want. I don't care. I think they're potentially fraudulent, bro. They don't look good. Um, they're winning close games against bad teams. I'm not moved, bro, at all. I don't think Sam Darnold is winning me a playoff game. Um, you know, they won without Justin Jefferson doing a whole lot, which is good for them probably. But I'm really not moved by this Vikings team at all. I think they're beatable. And I think a better team will prove that they're a very beatable team. Patriots. I want to put them in vibe in, but they just suck. And I don't think they're spoiling anybody's season this year. The Saints. Saints are vibing. They're 4-7, and seven, I think. They won back-to-back -back games. Play the Rams. They could be a potential spoiler for the Rams, though. If they beat the Rams this week... The Rams' season might be over, and they might be dropping down to teams playing spoiler. Giants, oh my goodness. Jets, oh my goodness. New York teams are just, besides the Bills, those New York teams stink. The Philadelphia Eagles, welcome to number three on the power rankings. 
This is the top five right here, baby. We got number one, Detroit Lions, number two, Buffalo Bills, number three, Philadelphia Eagles, number four, Kansas City Chiefs, and number five, the Baltimore Ravens, baby. Come on, man. That's too easy. Um, but, yeah, that's how it's looking. Titans, spoiler. Um, they beat the the Texans, spoiled some of their chances this year. And we got the Commanders. I still think they're going to make the playoffs, but they're provincial, fraudulent team. So, now let's look at it as a whole, as a power rankings as such. These are the first five teams. The sixth best team in the league in the power rankings? I probably have to go with the Steelers. I probably have to take the Steelers. I might take after that maybe the Packers, the Vikings, the Texans, Chargers, all in that area. And then after that, it's just who freaking knows. But I think the top five teams is clear. Um, and, yeah, it's pretty obvious for me. But, yeah, this is the power rankings heading into week 13. Very excited. I'm um, going to drop my weekly picks tomorrow for y'all. And, you know, I've been, been doing pretty good with the picks. I'm like kind of 18 and some. Um, wasn't that great last week, but we're going to be better this week. I think I'm going to go 12-0, 13-0, how many freaking games there are. But we got games on Thursday, Friday, Sunday, and Monday this week. Happy Thanksgiving to all y'all, for real. I appreciate y'all for watching, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we will be back next week and Wednesday with some brand new content, baby. But for now, we out of here. Yes, sir.